Okay, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you again. Thank you, likewise. Okay. We're about to finish, people. We'll finish tomorrow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we finish tomorrow. Wow, mission completed. Yes. How was how was today? Uh, Mister was nice, relaxed. Well, not that relaxed. I've been babysitting my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> did, they, did, did they play? Well, you know, I look after my mother. She's almost 90 years old. So that's why I don't, I work from home. Yeah, because uh, I look after her, so. Uh, and, and also now these, couple of weeks I will be babysitting my granddaughter too so it's like <laughs> having two children at home <laughs> yes pay for being a babysitter <laughs> yeah but no <laughs> that doesn't make money <laughs> damn it so been a busy day um, but, so actually, this is the relaxed part of my day. <laughs> you recreate um, recuerdos? Yeah, with her. memories. Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of pictures of her. Today I was trying to watch the Real Madrid game in the morning. It was at around 10.30 or 11. And she was jumping over my back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, she or he? Did you say? Sorry. She. She's a, my granddaughter. So she's a healthy girl. <laughs> yes. I, yes. <laughs> it is. Okay, well, let's get it started. I'm going to take the attendance, so please turn on your cameras and respond when you hear your name. Ada Veronica Muñoz. Present. Okay, welcome. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Not here yet. Andrea Isabel Siu. Wow, we lost her. Brenda Claribel Mejia. I'm here, present. Okay, welcome. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez. Present teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening. Diana Patricia Orantes. Present, I'm here. Okay. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Eugenio. Present teacher, I, I can't hear you. Really? Yes, I, I hear you very well. Mm, me too. Yeah. No. 
And check your speakers. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo. Uh, okay, Jennifer. Um, Juan Antonio Brand. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present teacher. Okay. okay. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present teacher. I am here. Okay. Marisa Abigail Fuentes. Maris. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. I hear me. Teacher. Sorry, teacher. Okay, welcome. No es Ezequiel Rivera. Present. Okay. Norma Lizette Crespin. Present teacher. Okay. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Uh, Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Reina Isabel Romero. Hello. Hi. I'm here. And Silvia este Rivera. I'm here. Okay. Quick review. Uh, Alicia Perez. Andrea Isabel. And Miguel Antonio. No. No, Miguel Antonio. Meris. Meris Abigail. Not yet? Present teacher. Oh, yeah. Okay. Teacher present. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I... Okay. Let's see. Well, this is. We'll start with last unit in our manual today. Okay, going places. What people like to do on vacation. Okay, let's. See what what do you like to do on vacation? I'm going to check for me. I like to discover something new like take language, cooking or sailing lessons. No. Join an archaeological dig. No, that's not for me. Enjoy nature. Go camping, hiking, or fishing. Mm. Now, relax at the beach. Yeah, that's for me. Definitely. I better place a heart. Relax at the beach. Take an exciting trip, visit a foreign country. Oh yeah, I love that. Travel through my own country by car or train. Oh yeah, I like it too. Stay home, catch up on reading. Uh, if I stay home, I won't be reading. Stay home and fix up or redecorate the house. No. If I stay home, I will be watching movies, series, sports, but not reading or fixing up. And I sleep for more time. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's me. Okay, this is about me. What do I like to do on vacation? 
Well, I like to relax at the beach or visit a foreign country or travel to my own country by car or train. Well, not by car, not by train, <laughs> by bus. But I like it, okay? What about you? Tell me about you, people. What do you like to do on vacation? Tell me, Ada, Veronica, what do you like to do on vacation? For me, I relax on the beach. Okay. Always. Okay, that is relaxing. Brenda, what about you? Um, it's very feel. It's very difficult for me because I, I like the travel, um, but the cracker is fix up the or decorate the house or relax at the beach. Ah, okay. Uh, or um, go a uh, camping, hiking, or fishing. Okay. I would like, I have never done it before, but I would like to try glamping. Have you heard about glamping? Um, in the mountain Conchagua, yes. Yes, but... By today, today is raining. Sorry, I was raining cats and dogs this day. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good. What about you, Cecilio? What do you like to do on vacation? Cecilio? Excuse me. What Excuse do you me. like to do on vacation? Uh, excuse me, no. Me salió un rato. Okay, so watch. Okay. Uh, Claudia, what about you? What do you like to do on vacation? On vacation, I mostly prefer to stay at home. Watch TV, wake up late. Okay. Drink my coffee. <laughs> oh, that's really <laughs> Nice. You know, I I'm a, I am an only child, so I okay. don't have problems staying alone. I grew Me neither. up alone. <laughs> so I enjoy to be alone. <laughs> I have my, a sister, but I enjoy my, to be my, alone. My wife doesn't <laughs> like to hear that, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't like. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Diana? What do you like to do on vacation? Okay. <laughs> I love sleep. And I only want to sleep in silence in my house. But I have two dogs. Very noisy. Very ah. noisy. And one sister, very noisy. My, my sister mm, don't speak. My sister laughs for everything. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I want to sleep with silence. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, that's impossible with a lot of people at home. Yes. Yeah. And another thing, um, I want to relax at the beach because I think that the last time that I went to the beach is two years, I think. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay. What about you, Eugene? What do you like to do on vacation? Hi, everybody. Um, for me, I like to to go camping, hiking, or fishing. And uh, I think that I, 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 I did climb 
10 volcanoes of Salvador. Oh, really? Um, well, how, yes. uh, well, take it easy, take it easy. How, how do you say yo he escalado? Yes, I did climb. No. 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 What is the correct? Ah, come on. We have studied that recently. I did hiking? No, no, no. The verb is climb. Yeah, that's fine. Pero es yo he escalado. I was. No. No. The verb I... in past, in, in simple past. No. No, no. I try. Uh -huh. No. Yo he escalado. I mean, I. I, I ah, have okay. Climbed. Yes. I have climbed. I have climbed. Have. Yes. I have climbed. Ten I have climbed. Ten volcanoes of El Salvador. Okay. Good. I think the weekend is my 12 um, volcano of Usulután. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, let's continue with Juan. What about you, Juan? What do you like to do on vacation? Well, <clears throat> in vacation, uh, the first and second days, uh, um, I would like to uh, relax and at the home mm -hmm. and look at the, uh, some movie, uh, action movie. But okay. uh, the Thursday, the Thursday, and another days, um, well, I fix up the <laughs> redecorate the house, <laughs> but no go to a uh, beach because uh, most people go to over there in this day. Ah, uh, okay. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, we go with Catherine. What about you? Catherine? Okay, Lenin? Hello. Hi. On vacation, I want catch catch up on reading. And sleep. Okay. Yes. What what uh, do you like to read? Um, poesia. <laughs> poetry. 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 Oh, okay. Interesting. Good. Um, what about you, Marys? What do you like to do on vacation? No. Hi. Uh, huh? I am busy on Guatemala. So you like to visit a foreign country? Yeah. Okay. Um... Like, I like you food. The what? The what? The mala? Como que me encanta su comida. Okay, how do you say that in English? Uh, I like you food. Okay, I like the food. Although um, me encanta is more I love. I love, yeah. The food, okay. Is, is your architect, oh, architectura, su architectura? Architecture, yeah. okay. Um, okay, very good. <laughs> 
What about you, Luis? What do you like to do on vacation? Okay, good evening, teacher. Uh, I like to travel to Guatemala too uh, in the end of the year. Uh, in my work, I don't have very much vacation, only the last week of the year, uh, when the uh, 24, 25, uh, to 3 of January. Uh, wow. Only only ten days, but I I want I like uh, travel to Guatemala for eat uh, the typical food uh, the, the the travel the uh, I like uh, see the people the culture culture and. Mm -hmm any things of this country okay. i like to travel okay good yes teacher and miguel what do you like to do on vacation i like uh, the beach um i go the camping um finish okay Nelson, what do you like to do on vacation? Uh, um, I am um, travel at our country, for example, Guatemala or Honduras. Ah, okay, good. Um, what's next, Noe? What about you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not there, Norma. Olivia. Hello. Hi. Mm. Hi, Olivia. What do you like to do on vacation? Um, I want to go to relax at the beach. Okay. Okay, Oscar, what do you like to do on vacation? Uh, on my vacation, I like to be at home, resting or doing housework and gardening and cooking. Um, anyway. Okay, good. Uh, uh, Reina? Reina. Okay, hello. Mm -hmm. I like to do many things, like cooking, being home. <laughs> um relaxing a bit at the beach, visiting a foreign country and fix up or redecorate the house. Also catch up on reading. Okay, almost everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And finally, Sylvia, what do you like to do on vacation? Well, in my vacation, always I love to explore the nature. And I like to go camping as from the Trifinia, for example. Also make hiking to waterfalls and volcanoes. And I visit the beach for relax and enjoy the food and the sun. And well, I need to relax in my house and sleep for more time. Okay. Okay, people, very good. Well, let's take a look at this conversation between Julia and Nancy. I'm going to record it here for you. Okay. Uh, 
I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll catch up on my reading. What about you? Any plan? Well, my parents have rented a condominium in Florida. I'm going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. Sounds great. Say, why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Do you mean it? I'd love to. Wow, what a nice friend. I need a friend of those. <laughs> okay, one more time. Listen. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll catch up on my reading. What about you? Any plans? Well, my parents have rented a condominium in Florida. I'm going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. Sounds great. Say, why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Do you mean it? I'd love to. Okay, now just let me call your attention to a couple of things. Nancy, Nancy said that she's not sure. Okay, and look, she uses this form to talk about future. I guess I'll just stay home or maybe I'll catch up on my reading. She doesn't have any plan. But Julia, Julia has a plan already. And she says, I'm going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. So if you observe Nancy, who is not sure about what she is going to do, uses will to speak about future. But Julia, who already has plans with her family, uses I'm going to or be going to to speak about future. But let's take a look to a video we have in the platform about this. So let me prepare the video to watch. It. Future with be going to and will. Here it is. Watch it, please. No, 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 not this here. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, 
Where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just... Um, stay home. These are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay. 
Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle. Okay, I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now if you look at let's say the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go and then again you might not so if you're sure about it then you're gonna use the expressions towards the left you're gonna use be going to plus um, you know whatever complement that exists so you're gonna use I'm gonna go to Europe alright that could be a, um, your plan but if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. <clears throat> okay. So... Look at this. So we use be going to, let me use uh, yellow. We use be going to plus a verb to talk about plans you have decided on. Okay, you have made a decision. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, get up early. I'm going to go to the mountain. I'm going to visit my family. You know, I, it is a plan you have. And uh, use will plus a verb with maybe, probably, I guess, or I think, to talk about possible plans before you made a decision. Okay, look at the examples. Where are you going to go? So the question is the same. Where are you going to go? I have a plan. I'm going to go to the beach. Okay? I don't have a plan. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, which is I will, catch up on my reading. I don't have a plan. I am not sure. Maybe it's a possibility. 
where are you going to go? Again, I'm not going to take a vacation. This is the negative form. I'm not going to take a vacation. Or this, I'm sure I am not going to take a vacation. I am not sure. I don't have a decision yet. I probably won't. Remember, want is the contraction for will not. I probably won't take a vacation this year. Okay. And, and again, another question. What are you going to do? I have a plan already. I'm going to do lots of swimming. I am not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. I guess. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. Okay. And if you see, we use these kind of words to uh, let you know that we are not sure. Maybe. Probably, I guess. So when you have not made a decision, I think, okay. So any questions so far, people? Between the difference of be going to and will. No questions? No questions. Okay, very good. So let's see, we have an exercise here. Complete the conversation with appropriate forms of be going to or will at the conversation, okay? You have to decide. Remember, if the plan is certain, so we use going to. If not, use will, okay? So I will give you a few minutes to complete the conversation and we are going to check later together. All right, work on that. Okay.
Um, teacher, I have a question. Uh huh. Tell me. Um, can we use the negative form if it is needed? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's check together. Let's see, Sylvia, can you give me number one, please? Sure. Is number one, I going to go cup, camping, camping, camping. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Camping. I'm going, going to go. To go. I'm going to go camping. Thank you. Reina, number two. I think it is the same. I'm going to be away for a week. I'm going to be away for a week. Oscar, number three. Olivia, number three. Um, I, I will. I need to number three. Uh huh. I I want. I want. I will probably leave around the end of May. So, what? What do you think, people? Will? Maybe will? I will probably. I will probably. Yeah, I think I'll, it's will. I will. I will probably. I'm not sure. I maybe will I probably live around the end of May. Yeah. I, I will. will. I will. Or I'll. 
Okay, uh, Norma, are you there? Noe? Nelson? Miguel? Wow. Hi. Hi are, are you going Peter. to go? Uh, okay. And where are you going to go? Going to go. Okay. That was Nelson, right? Yes. Okay. So, Miguel? I will. Mm -hmm. I will. I will going to okay. Number six, Meredith. Catherine. One. Teacher, Number estoy estoy o sea, si estoy prestando atención, pero estoy haciendo un documento. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe I'm going to go thinking and do some fishing. Uh, with maybe, no. we use going to when we are sure. Okay. She says maybe. Will I will, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. No, I'm not. Uh, Juan. Oh, it's already done. okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, Eugenio, number six. Number seven, uh, I number mean, number six. seven. Number, uh, seven, number seven. seven. Yes. Are you going to rent a camper? Are you going to rent a camper? Going to, okay. Number eight. Um, Brenda. Are you going to go with anyone? Okay. And number nine, Ada. I will travel by myself. Um, I'm going to travel. Yeah, it is, it's a decision taken. So I'm going, I'm to, going to travel by uh, myself. Okay, let me read it quickly. Insurance. Yeah? There is missing one. The letter B in the number seven. Number seven, 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 seven. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, this one. I'm sorry. Okay. I think it is. I probably won't rent the camper to do things. Uh, okay. I probably won't rent a camper. It's, yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me record the conversation. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I've decided on one thing. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of May. And where are you going to go? 
I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel by myself. Okay. Well, we are going to continue tomorrow, which is the last day. Actually, and if you have time, think about these questions because we are going to work on them tomorrow and you are going to talk about your future plan for your next vacation. Okay. So that will be all for today. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.